Was there ever a moment where you were playing Borderlands you're like, man, I wish I was playing Halo? Well, you can with this mod and I'll show you exactly how to download it and play it. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you a different kind of video. Today we're doing a mod showcase and I found this really cool reshade feature and basically makes Halo look like Borderlands. To download this mod, all you have to do is just make sure you have reshade installed and then what you do, you manually download this and once you download this, you find where you download your game. So I go for me, it's games, Steam apps, common, then go over to the Master Chief collection. And you also go over into the MCC binaries win 64 and just place the file in here and when you boot up into the mcc you'll have the top of the screen will give you the option to press the home key that it's like your preset or the borderlands filter on your reshade if you'd like to try out the mod yourself link in the description down below down to the nexus mod to be able to download the file and add it into your mcc so when i think borderlands i think open wide kind of open world styled rpg game that's in like a deserty kind of wasteland kind of experience so what is the first thing that comes to my mind when it comes to playing in a deserty kind of environment in halo first thing is tip of the spear and this is actually pretty awesome once you first look log in you're like wow look at this this actually looks and kind of feels like I'm playing Borderlands. I even put on yellow painted armor just because, you know, I felt like that was more Borderlands-like and just being able to jump in and play around with this is actually a lot of fun. The oversaturation, the bit of a film grain to it as well. Uh, that, of course, obviously, like the cartoony black outline on the weapon as well. Uh, sadly enough, it doesn't really show up too much in uh, third-person angles or anything like that. It really only shows up in first-person and on your character itself. But when it does, it really does actually give you that feel of playing Borderlands on the Halo MCC, which is just freaking cool. And when it comes to playing Tip of the Spear, I have to show you guys this part of the mission. I find this section so freaking cool. When you blow up the first AA tower, and that allows in one of the UNSC frigates to come in and you get to look up into the sky. It's such raining terror onto the enemy for you. And it's just so cool seeing how like these large scale battleships are finally able to actually interact with your gameplay in some way or another. It's just so cool. I love the atmosphere of this mission. But honestly, one of my favorite missions of all time probably would have to be Tip of the Spear. I mean, like, look at this. This just looks freaking awesome. Like, yeah, it doesn't like really come off as super Borderlands-y when feeling when you just don't have that, that black outline to it, but it just looks freaking cool. But Borderlands isn't all just desert wasteland. There are some industrial areas, and also in the mission of Tip of the Spear, there is a section here where you can go indoors to check out different areas of, you know, the interior to clear out and stuff like that. And again, just kind of gives you, like, really cool Borderlands-y kind of feel to the whole thing. Especially when I get a chance to actually whip out the uh, the plaza pistol you get to see here in a bit that it just like looks like it actually fits more almost in Borderlands than it does in Halo. I swear to God, like when I was holding this weapon, I'm like, dang, this actually really looks like a Borderlands weapon. I'm not joking. See, watch as I smack down these grunts, you actually can kind of see like, yeah, this weapon actually totally fits within the idea of Borderlands because they have such crazy like sci-fi looking kind of weapons within the franchise that you know the plaza pistol totally works within this mod. Like it does, it's just it's really cool. And yes, Halo's Reach Tip of the Spear is great and all, but then I got curious, what does it look like in the other games? Because obviously if this looks awesome, it's gonna look, be looking awesome and everything else, right? Well, let's check it out. For X game we checked it out in was Halo 3, obviously, because we had to go check out that one. And that one we definitely had to go to the Ark. This was the other desert wasteland kind of level I thought of when it came to Halo 3. And then I looked at it and was like, didn't really feel like much like Borderlands, but once that Sniper rifle pops up right on your screen, it has that really cool outline to it. You get the feelings like, ah, oh, yes, we're back in business, guys. And it's actually kind of funny seeing how whenever like a flash of light comes in, that the black line actually stays in on your character's uh, weapon models and outlines, but uh, everything else just goes completely white. Ever want to know what a longsword crash looks like in Borderlands? Well, there you go. Ever curious how it looks like when brutes die in Borderlands? Well, there you go. Just rockets, big ass explosions happening right in the face. I mean, this just looks so awesome. I know I keep saying it, but like, it really does. But then I started getting curious. What if I went into more wooded Greenland kind of area? So I jumped into Halo 4 and the Mission Reclaimer and checked out this and like, honestly, like when I was playing it, it didn't really feel much like a Borderlands kind of feel to it. It just, you get the black outline of the rifle and that's kind of about it. Like it didn't really come across like that, like the feel you're kind of going across when you want to play like a Borderlands looking 
looking kind of game. But yeah, you still have that oversaturation and kind of like the more cell shaded kind of look to the things. But for the most part, it did kind of just look like, you know, like an oversaturated Halo 4. So then I hop back over to the desert wastelands and yep, yep, definitely feels more like Borderlands now. Like it's just like, I think just like the brighter maps really kind of bring out the color and the saturation and just like the overall visual presentation that Borderlands would have in Halo and just these brighter maps just because of that deeper saturation that the darks really kind of get lost in the detail and the brights are really bright. And so then when you play on a much brighter colored map, it just, you know, just, things just stand out a little bit better. Like, you can see even in the, in the text right there as well, it has like a bit of a film grain kind of outline to the whole thing. Again, just like matches the aesthetic really well. But what about on the game where it all started on Combat Evolved? Well, this is what it looks like. And you can see it actually kind of plays out rather well. Like, it doesn't really look that much different, honestly, because with Combat Evolved's anniversary graphics, they're already rather overly saturated. So really, the only thing I'm noticing here is just kind of some blurry outlines on text and you get the black outline on the uh, Magnum there and also on the Assault Rifle. So that comes through well. So maybe if there's any game that would be the most uh, Borderlands-like naturally, I guess it would have to be Combat Evolved Anniversary. And I, you know, it does kind of fit actually rather well within the game. But then we had to switch over the classic graphics to see if that changes anything. And you can see right here, actually, you know, it does kind of give you that much more uh, cell shaded cartoony look due to the older graphics being from 2001. And it actually does fit the aesthetic rather well, which is pretty uh, freaking cool. So then I wanted to test out how this game looks on the best visual game that's in the MCC and that's Halo 2 Anniversary, but I decided to jump into multiplayer in this one just to, because I wanted to mix it up a little bit. I wanted to try and see like how well could I do with Borderlands graphics on multiplayer and well, starting out with the triple on the rocket, it's actually a pretty good start and it's actually did pretty well in this game surprisingly but you can kind of see it doesn't really have that kind of look yeah yeah there is a bit of more of a flat cell shaded kind of look to the most of the parts of halo 2 anniversary but there you're missing out on that black outline which really helps make the weapon stand out and kind of gives you that more artistic feel and look when it comes to playing obviously Borderlands when you're trying to mix it in with a little bit of Halo. And luckily here we're able to finish out the game 50 to 22. We actually did awesome. We went like 20 and two in that match. Kind of insane that in fact with all these crazy visual enhancements on that you can still play the multiplayer that doesn't affect anything like that. And I actually did rather well, which is kind of crazy. So overall this mod is actually a pretty fun experience. Just download reshade and then you go on the Nexus mod and you also download the preset that someone created on there. Just put that into your game and you get to play no problem whatsoever they have put the tutorials on the website as well if you want to figure out how to do it there if you'd like me to do more mod showcases on the mcc make sure to leave a like on this video leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right now i got a link to all my news and informational videos and i'd like to catch you in the next one peace out